right, Kryptonauts. Today I am looking at all my 3080 Ti's and looking at the T-Rex lock, core clock lock, absolute lock. I want to see if I can set that and I want to see if I can lower down some of this power usage on those bottom those bottom three cards are in the 300s, which are, you know, obviously you know, push the temp higher as well, I think. And I just want to try the um, core clock lock and just see if we can uh, get that down. I've been on the T-Rex Discord looking at some of the settings. <laughs> Look at some of the notes. There you go. You just scribble everything out as much as you can because everyone posts different stuff. And I'm trying to piece together from people's comments what works for them. And it looks like... The settings I'm going to try first. Uh, no LHR setting, no power level. I mean, just set it to zero. I don't even think I have to set that. I'm going to tweak that. And we're going to set the fan. The memory clock, 1050. Someone said they had success at 1550. And then the lock core clock at 1400 is the suggested one. And... Uh, one of the experienced guys on the Discord says, you know, always start at 1500 and tweak from there. I said, okay. And then I saw this guy's post. He was having issues. And he was getting a lower mega hash. And that was because he was running his video stuff and a lot of stuff off that computer he was mining on. So he was using it. And I think those resources were chewing up some of the card resources. Once he said he got out of all that stuff, the applications, and, and just let the machine run, you know, GPU only without any applications or, you know, visualizations, his rates, his actual mega hash rates on a 3080 Ti LHR went up to 92 to 93 using T-Rex Miner. And that's what I want to see. And you can see what I'm at now right here. I took a screenshot. I'm not unhappy with these for an LHR 30 Ti. I don't know enough yet. I'm not a total expert and I don't expect ever to be. But this has been running consistently stable for me for a couple, well, maybe a month now. And I just want to now see if I can get this power, this power stuff down and go from there. All right, stand by. I'm going to run this now, this T-Rex miner, and then see where I'm at and then adjust the memory clock up from there. And of course, when using this lock core clock, this is kind of useless anyway. I should probably just take that out, the PL. So, And I'm not running MSI Afterburner this time. So it's just letting T-Rex T -Rex do, it, do it all. All right? All right, let's see what happens. Start up. It picked up the settings. Sets the intensity. There's my M clock and the core clock. I like that it echoes. I feel T-Rex really gives you a lot of information. It's helpful. You can eyeball this when it starts up. All right, let's just keep going and see where it, and see where it puts me. We were hovering with NB minor. Again, this is NB minor I was running right there at 39.7, 85, 86. Now they're shooting right here, 87s. And again, I, I'm using a lower mem clock than what was recommended. They're saying do a, a what was it, a 1550? Is that right? Am I reading that wrong? I gotta read my notes better, man. Oh, let's see, yeah. 1550 we'll try but right now we're at 1050 all right let's see what happens we'll let this rip for a bit but right off the bat it's shooting high higher than i had and power levels are actually lower too holy crap power levels have dropped let's see two that's the same the top the top three roughly the same the bottom three Bottom, all right, the bottom two have dropped uh, significantly. Wow. So the bottom two were at 318, 319, and the bottom two here, 284, 281. The other ones appear to be the same. Interesting. I'm going to let this rip. Again, this just started up. It's shooting for an LHR 74. And the rates, have, off the bat, the uh, hash rates are higher so again it just started up so let's let it rip i'm gonna let it rip for a while yeah i'm right. telling you i really love this t-rex miner and another lesson is you really got to keep reading got to keep following the miners the discords and watching videos because you learn something new every day uh by setting the settings i have the um lock core clock at 1400 and the memory clock at 1050 
uh, the numbers alone have improved uh, from the uh, from my baseline, which was running MB minor with uh, MSI afterburner and everything set to some overclock settings. I just uh, looking at these. I mean, I've dropped in power. The bottom two are always problematic for me. The bottom two cards, they were always using more power and burning hotter. You know, you can see there 319 watts, uh, 71 Celsius uh, temp. And then you come over here. This has only been like 10 or so minutes. We already have a higher hash rate. Across the board, all six cards are up. And let's see, we have a temperature is down the bottom two are my my baseline my my barometers man because they were they were always giving me problems so temperature is 64 65 celsius so not bad seven seven degrees celsius drop and the power level is dropped oh boy one's quite a bit one's at 286 from 318 one's at 300 from 319 i'm sure that'll fluctuate the hashes have been consistent, so it doesn't seem to be bouncing. The temperatures have been consistent. And the power level, eh, power level, let's see, there we go. 292, 298, 298. So I'm going to wash this a little bit, but, I mean, right off the bat, God, how much mega hash? Let's just say three across the board. I just got 18 more mega hash across the board. I'm just averaging three more mega hash just uh, just eyeball on this right oh there it went up to 89 let's just say three more mega hash per card and now it's looking like let's see 85 oh my god one really went up let's just say three so i just gave myself 18 more mega hash yummy mega hash just by reading and paying attention and just trying stuff i'm going to um last i'm gonna let this run watch my temps and the next thing I'm going to do is up the, the uh, memory clock per the recommendation of one of the uh, posters on the uh, T-Rex Discord and I'll do it slowly and just see if I can get that up because he was saying he has he's running at 92 to 93 mega hash on a 3080 Ti LHR card yeah this is pretty cool stuff because uh, what I like about this too is less power usage on those bottom two to three cards and what that means also and you get more mega hash and also means less heat because <laughs> that grow tent this grow tent right here gets hot and it radiates heat like a little wood stove sometimes so here's the dreaded blue screen of windows when your nvidia card overclocks are not quite accurate or a little bit too much so you get this guy right here Video TDR NVIDIA, it's like an NVIDIA DKMKM sys. So when I see that, what that means is the memory clock, I kind of push too high. Uh, when I read on the Discord, this, this one poster put 1550 for the memory clock. I thought that was way too high. I was running 1200 and I have an issues. And I found a sweet spot was 1050. Uh, for this, I think I upped it to 1200. And about after 10 minutes, you get the dreaded blue screen of death. So I'm going to reboot, come back up, and go into my T-Rex batch file and set it back to 1050 and run it again for a while and make sure it's stable. So yeah, that's a good test. Just do small increments with the mem, mem clock settings. You should be good then, and you'll, you'll be able to recover and say, oh, that was the problem. All right, there you go. Real world, real world examples, real time, right? All right. All right. Let's close out this video with the final settings, the uh, lock core clock. Here's the results we're getting right now. We have uh, 90 mega hash power is about 298, some uh, one 300, but mostly under 300, which is good, better than what I've seen. Uh, what else do we got? Temperatures are a lot lower. 60s and 50s the hash rate's incredible and how do we get there well we started right here this is a uh, basic overclock settings with msi afterburner and we had 85 hash rates roughly we had power consumption some in the three up near 318 319 
Uh, 260 was the lowest, 261. And we had some temperatures. This thing would get up some 75 Celsius sometimes. That's why I had to put a fan on these things. So they would actually burn hot. The bottom three, and those are the uh, Republic of Gaming Strix 380, 3080 Ti's, man. They would just get hot. I didn't, I didn't, know, what, that's why I, I didn't know what to do. That's why I put the fan on them. But this looks really good. I am pleased with these numbers. I mean, this is the original numbers. Sorry. So let me show you the uh, new numbers. This is the first benchmark I did when I set the uh, lock the uh, core clock at 1400. So, you know, high 80s, some 90s. I never seen that before. We went from there we go 85.8, 85, 82 on one. So 85, 80, let's just say 85s. So 85.5. So geez, four and a half up three and a half up so let's just round it out three let's just be conservative three three times six cards 18 i'm getting 18 mega hash more and consuming less power because i was up in the 320s on the bottom two cards and uh 286 on the one two seventies yeah the top three i've saved the same roughly yeah more or less they've gone up a little bit they do fluctuate a little bit but here we are now now we dropped a little bit down to 88s, but that is still better than 85. Power is better. It jumps up a little bit, but it's st staying under 300. That, that third one, that fourth one's jumped up. We'll see where that settles out. I know I just kind of started this a couple minutes ago. But let's look at the settings. Here's what I did. I just kind of tweaked them a bit. When I did M clock at 1200, it kind of blue screen to death, as you saw in the previous part. Uh, fan 100 PL0 you don't need I don't think you need to set that at all you just leave it empty but I just put it in there and there is the lock core clock 1400 I just want to put LHR tune 74 because I saw before it just seemed to like that when it was a 74 I was getting some of the best stable performance but you'll see the T-Rex go in here kind of change it and try to find the best uh, LHR rate hash rate uh, LHR mode to um, to uh, tune it to so you never know so this lock core clock stuff is pretty impressive for T-Rex minor it definitely saves you why it gives you some hash back and the things running cooler for me for 3080 Ti's if you look at my other videos they've also improved performance on some of the other cars the 1660s supers the non LHR stuff right so pretty cool I mean you got to keep up it, t it, it teaches me to go check the uh, minor pages now and then and go to the discords and just keep up on what's happening and find out some of the best tunings for your cards. It can save you, uh, it can make, it can save you watts, burning power, you know, keep your temperatures down and make you run more efficient. So there you go. All right. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped. Help me. This is good stuff. All right. I'm out.